So mini PCs is great if you have different size monitors and you want to go wireless with a wireless keyboard and mouse. It's definitely if you're looking for a full Windows 11 computer with a bunch of ports, right? Ports, power, and the price to match. Well, the Blackview uh, computer here, this mini gaming computer may be for you. Right. All right. So listen, I've reviewed Blackview product in the past. And as y'all guys have watched my channel, I kept it real no matter what. So when they asked me to review their latest PC and give them my thoughts, I'm like, OK, cool. So let's have some fun. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I'm reviewing the Blackview MP60 Mini Gaming PC. So I'm, this is a very interesting PC here that has some mind blowing stuff. So check this out before we get into anything else. This little mini PC got the Jasper Lake processor, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage. You got a lot of ports on here. I mean, a lot of ports and a lot of stuff going on with it. And the price, $399. But you know what? If you want to spend just a little less, just a little less, you could get the 8 gig, 256 model for $249. Now, that's mind blowing. And that price caught my attention. Before we get into everything else here, let me give you my unboxing experience and my reaction. So check this out. All right, so here it is, the Blackview Mini PC. Uh, nice presentation on the box. Uh, this is gonna be the MP60 uh, with the Jasper Lake processor in it, 2.0 gigahertz turbo up to 2.9 gigahertz. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up and let's look at the presentation here of this. Oh, look at that. Beautiful presentation, oh man. Okay, so this here is really good. Lift this up. You get the computer out. All right. Once you get the computer out, uh, you put, got a pull tab here that uh, you do have a card, Blackview card, all right, for support. Uh, they got an email address there. Also, you have your manual here, power brick. All right, and you have the cord. Also, you have a plate, okay? Look like we got a mounting plate here. Okay, so let's talk about ports on this computer. On the right side, there's a power button and two USB 3 ports and a regular USB port. And on the rear, you have the power port, you have one USB uh, port, you have two HDMI ports, a LAN port, and a mic slash headphone jack. So you do get a fair share of ports with this PC. But the only thing that's missing is that it doesn't have USB-C ports on here. So that's a bummer. So looking at the design of this PC, it's a all plastic bill with a nice cool color, right? And that's blue. And it's so cool that you do have colors that come in, that comes out of the vents. So you do have a nice, beautiful collected color here that's coming out of the vents. Now this PC is running Windows 11 Pro and the version that I have is 16 gigs DDR4. It has dual band Wi-Fi 802.11 up to AC. Uh, you do have Bluetooth 4.2 uh, and it's able to push two 4K monitors at 60 Hertz. So this computer is advertised as a mini gaming computer at $249 or $399. Now it does have the Jasper Lake processor in it, right? I got the 16 gigs of RAM and stuff like that. But let's talk about the gaming capability of this computer. So I ran benchmark tests. And look, as much as I could push this device, looking at the scores with the processor that's in here, it's exactly what I expected, right? 
Look, this processor here is not the high-end processor. It's going to give you decent speeds here. Now, as far as PC and graphics, the scores are definitely on the low end. Now, as far as the SSD scores, it's kind of mid-range. So you definitely need to know that if you're going to buy this computer to play games. Let me show y'all guys some gaming uh, that I did with this here, downloading Steam games. So check this out. All right, guys, so let's uh, test out the gaming capability of uh, the Blackview MP60. All right, so I got Steam pulled up here, and uh, look, I've already tried this already, but uh, I wanted to let y'all guys see this. Now, this is Call of Duty here um, playing on the Blackview MP60. Now, here's the thing. it's it's This is a really high-end game. Uh, that's pretty much for high-end PCs. Uh, now, the, the thing about this game right here is that it will, the beginning will start, right? But it will, it will lock up. Uh, so if I try to do campaign, let me go to the resume my game. And it's basically uh, starting from the beginning here. Uh, one of the issues that I had is that once it start, it looked great. I mean, the frame rates looked really good. Looked like I was getting around 45 to 50 FPS here. Uh, the graphics does look really good, as y'all guys can see. I mean, look, it, 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 it starts really good. And here at the bottom, it's actually loading the game. So here at the bottom, it's kind of loading the game. But uh, uh, what happened with this game right here, even though you're getting the good cutscenes and the movie scenes here, once you try to get into gameplay, uh, it looked like it don't want to go uh, to gameplay. Okay, so uh, this part right here is where it, it kind of gets stuck. And we're going to just go on a close task on that. Okay, uh, but I did get um, Call of Duty Black Ops to work, uh, but I could not get uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare to work. I mean, look, the graphics is not the best, but I expected that from, uh, you know, from a computer with a Jasper Lake processor. The 16 gigs of RAM absolutely helps here. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you definitely could get some, you know, some good some good frame rates here so the question is uh when it comes down to gaming uh yes you can play steam games on here uh pretty much all your higher uh games is going to be at uh low settings i wouldn't go past low settings on none of these games uh, I would just stay at a low frame rate, low settings, nothing, nothing high end, nothing extra. I mean, look, this thing costs 399 bucks. So this is, you know, I mean, thousands of dollars cheaper than your normal, uh, gaming PC. So, you know, when you're here, you got the Jasper Lake processing and it, it's peaked out at 2.9 gigahertz. Uh, you're not going to get ultra ultra you know high-end frame rates and stuff like that you're not going to get all of that so uh just so you know that uh it, it, it will do a good job at the normal games here but as far as beefing it all the way up to get all that uh high-end ray tracing and stuff like that it, that is not going to happen uh, go to your uh, here. See right here is at uh, 800 to 600 uh, screen resolution. Uh, everything is low. Shadows are low. Uh, everything is is low. So uh, this so, so this so y'all know uh, when it comes down to the graphics, uh, it's low here. Everything is turned off. Everything is low. Uh, so this so you know uh, it, that's the way it's gonna be when you play these games. Can you play games on this mini PC? Absolutely, uh, but you have to know its limitation. Now, when I was playing Call of Duty, my uh, Advanced Warfare, I got through the beginning, but it doesn't want to load. But that is an extremely high-end game uh, that my high-end PC struggled with. So I kind of expected that. But playing other my other Call of Duty game, it played very well at very low settings. Now, 
the game experience is good. You're just not going to get those high end graphics. And again, you got to know the limitations of this computer. So if you're going to game on here, this going to be uh, low to light gaming on this PC. Again, I keep it real no matter what, but the price point, $249, $399, that's thousands of dollars cheaper than a gaming computer that a lot of companies advertise. So yes, you can play games and it's a good touch with this one with the 16 gigs of RAM. So that's very good. So definitely if you want to use this for documents, browsing the webs, uh, watching music and videos, doing stuff like that, it's great for that. Multiple monitors work flawless. Uh, 4K monitors at that. So you, you're going to have good a good experience at that. But as far as gaming, we all know how the gaming industry works. Uh, look, it doesn't have dedicated GPUs in here. So everything's integrated. So you need to know that. So if you're going to buy this for gaming, just understand that if you're going to do Steam games on this setup here, you could play games to medium to low settings and you would get a good experience that way. Now, if you go high or ultra high, you're definitely going to run into some issues. But if you're going to use this for the, pr listen, I keep talking about the price because for the price with eight and 16 gigs of RAM, uh, Windows 11 Pro uh, that can output uh, two 4K monitors with all the ports that you need, I think it's a fair deal in my opinion. Look, I will leave all product links down in the description below if you want to check this out. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. But the Black View MP60 in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.